I realize not everyone is on the same editing journey, so these tips may be obvious to some, but for those who never knew this, it is really gonna help you keep your library size to a minimum. So pretend this is a really big project of yours in a library filled with lots of things. It's showing up as 200 gigabytes. Did this library only eat Taco Bell for its entire existence? Does your library have a thyroid condition that it's currently taking medication for to try and reduce how massive it is? Surprisingly, no. These are not the reasons why your libraries are so big. Chances are you have this button clicked, which by default is turned on automatically. This is your button to turn background rendering on and off. What Final Cut does when this is selected is automatically renders your project while you're working on it, whenever you take pauses greater than 0.3 seconds. Not only does this slow down your computer and your ability to edit in FCP efficiently, but those render files add up to be big hefty buggers and are probably the reason why your libraries are so large. So first things first, let's turn this button off. Click the shortcut Command and Comma. Go to Playback and deselect it. Some of you may be saying, well, bollocks, all of my libraries must be filled to the brim because this was turned on the whole time. Well, fear not, fellow editor, because there's a simple solution. Press Control Command 1 to open your library browser. Make sure your library is selected. Go to File. Head down to Delete, Gener uh, Delete Generated Library Files. Select Delete Render Files and switch this to All. Now, if you optimized any media or converted any to proxy, you can select these as well. You can always just retranscode these easily if you need to. And boom, liposuction for your library. More than half of the size gone. What a transformation. And for those editing much shorter videos similar to this one, which is only five minutes, deleting these render files can still have a profound effect. This one went from over 12 gigabytes to 464 megabytes but make sure to have background renders switched off in the first place. Now that you don't have health concerns over the size of your library, check out this video to improve your own life while using Final Cut Pro. Have a great day, guys.